Hello, and welcome to a special edition of the Miniatures Rundown. I'm Mitchell. I am Josh. Yep, and telecommed with us is Josh. <laughs> Coming to you semi-live from Adepticon, Woo! where I got to sit on a real the preview, and I have a minor complaint because it, this year it was exactly the same as what y'all saw. They literally just sat us in there and played the video for us. Yeah, that's that is pretty. You got to see it two hours early. Did they do a Q and A at least? There, they could add, you. They didn't do a structured Q and A like they did last, like you know, calling out people. Yeah, they just they hung out at the front of the room. You could go up and ask some people questions, including some of the designers who were in that video. Oh wait, you could like go um, up to them, or it was like a microphone. No, you could like go up to them, like they were you know just hanging around social life basically. Oh okay, well they probably got mobbed. Oh, they did. I didn't get to talk to any of them. <laughs> Fair. All right, but um, so, on, on the flip side, we didn't have to listen to anybody talk about Battlefleet. Or not, <laughs> Battlefleet Gothic, Gothic, so, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, that was so. Amazing. First up. I guess we'll start in the forty first millennium, right? Yep, we're gonna we're gonna try and go in order that they showed us. Uh, so first, we have the Chaos Space Marines, which I am glad that they finally showed. Because yeah, because you you are a Chaos Space Marines player. I am a Chaos Space Marines player, debatably my main faction. Possibly, yeah, yeah. Um, and the, basically, there are five books coming out. There, we might get some uh, audio because I have the input cap. Sorry, the output capture. So we might actually get some like audio that I'm gonna have to go over. Anyway, um, so they revealed something, aka a new box for the other four books, and they showed nothing for chaos. And it's because they have right. two boxes. Wow, chaos! What says? Because we're cool now. Yes, yeah, this, basically. This is cool. So there's um two new models coming. Yep, two new models. This is the first one. The, the that is the new multi part chaos lord. Yep. Uh, and, and they said that he has it, options. He has a hammer. He has like plasma pistol, all that stuff. Horned yes, and he's head. coming. And he's coming in a box of a bunch of legionaries and terminators. Yes, I'm sure it'll show it on this page. I didn't yeah. actually see this. That's no, cool. that was not in the screen. That looks pretty sweet. I like that. And the uh, other new model. This is the other one, the Chaos Lord with Jump Pack, which is good because in the index, they got rid of him. <laughs> right. Which, which was but, sad because I own like two of them. <laughs> but hey. Well, hey, he's I, back, baby. I got him back. Uh, so this is the... um. The Night Lords ask, oh, the double claws. He looks yeah. so cool. Yeah. And he's also coming in a box with a bunch of printers and also a absolute crap from cultists. Yep. <laughs> uh, we got the the cover of the new book, which all as per usual is the old book, but with a symbol in the background. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the first box. The Veterans Long War has... Uh, is it listed here? Ten legionaries, ten terminators, five possessed, and the on foot lord. So ten terminators actually surprises me, and I'm kind of happy about that. Yeah, that's a pretty beefy box. Yeah, it is. Uh, and then the dread talons, which is uh, totally not night lords, <laughs> has uh ten raptors. Oh, ten raptors. I thought it was only five. No, uh, ten. Ten raptors, ten cultists, a unit of accursed cultists, dark commune. And uh, Demon Prince. Yeah, the Demon Prince was a surprise to me. Yeah, that's... The, I mean, it's weird that they decided to not give him wings in this one, even though this is, like, the flying one. They did call out in the stream that, yeah, you could totally give him wings. To well, make yeah, him it's just the, just the same kit. But, like, the picture of it is, like, the one without wings. Anyway, uh, both boxes fantastic. The cultist dark commune thing has been nerfed, but it's still pretty good. It pro it might get unnerfed in the book. You never know. That's true. We have no idea what's going to happen in the new book, as per usual. So one thing they did say would happen in the new book, we can talk a little bit about on the stream, is that there's a total of um, eight detachments. Yeah, eight detachments? I was expecting, like, five. No, one of them is the detachment from the Index, yeah. which is kind of based around those, you know, picking a god. And the other seven are all, uh, one of them is uh, Horde Mode cultists. Yep. And the others are all kind of themed to legions. They hinted there's one that's like a siege tank one. Yeah, siege they tank. They said there's one that 
Uh, demon engine. Yeah, the demon engines, uh, the sneaky ones, if you're playing like Alpha Legion. Um, they yep. call out in this article, as well as other Renegade Forces, uh, DVCs of Vashtor. So maybe Vashtor gets one. Or like, Vashtor, not, not 2024. Oh, God, I hope so. <laughs> <sighs> Will he finally be a model worth taking? I'm not holding my breath. Me either. We'll see. He made a pact with Abaddon, maybe. <laughs> All right, ready to go to the next one? Ready to go to the next one. Okay. <clears throat> next, we go into uh, Warcry, which I actually really like the design of both these teams. They're interesting and different versions of both of those factions, which is, it's good they're using Warcry to explore that space. Right. They don't have to go, like, here is a whole sub faction. It's just like these are the guys that have been exiled and what that means, or these are the guys that are cursed and what that means. Um, so we have the uh, Osiric Bone Reapers and the Twist Weld of Sylvaneth. So uh, Sylvaneth, and they are kind of the weirdos. Yeah, um, Bone Tar, yep. as I'm calling him. Bone Tar. <laughs> uh, they he, uh, they called him something cool, but he did say Centaur a couple times. Yeah, Bone Tar, uh, Bone Doggos. Bone Doggos. Hey, that's kind of cat-like. Bone also, Doggos. Also, I love that, like, in all of the pictures, they had huge horns, and in these ones, they're like, no horns. Nah. Probably means there's different ways to build them. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, bone Birds. Bone Birds. Bone oh, hearts. they just have human faces. Oh, I don't like the human faces. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're harpies, and harpies are upsetting, and I don't like them. Harpies are <laughs> upsetting. Yeah, that's fair. And then just your, uh, your Mox with... Big old halberds. Hub, yep, dude. Those those thighs, though. Jesus, <laughs> those thighs are made they of rib not, cages. <laughs> they did not skip leg day. <laughs> so yeah, these all look pretty cool. I like their design. And then, so those are very much bone reapers. Like they're within the bone reaping below, yeah. whatever. Lou, uh, they they're all cool and different, but they're not super outside of what Bone Reapers are. These Sylvaneth, on the other hand, are weird. Yeah, they're so the, they just they said on the stream that these are the guys that are like infected. And... They're, yeah, they're they're infected with a corruption. Yeah, and you can like see where she sends these little like bugs to eat at the corruption. God, these guys are so weird. They're really yeah, cool uh, guys, though. Trypophobia beware, I guess, because there's yes. a lot of that in this kit. Um, yeah, you've got a Spite Revenant. You've got some uh, Tree Revenants. Uh, first new Dryads we've seen in a long time. Yeah, uh, and they're, like, all nasty and thorny. <laughs> yeah, and I like them a lot better than the other Dryads. Oh, well, yeah. those. I mean, those were still on square bases. Those haven't been updated in, in Age of Sigmar yet. They'll come in boxes of 16, right? Oh, my God. So, yeah, both of these kits are really interesting. That model there, the, the leader of the, the Sylvaneth, is so busy. It, it's, <laughs> it's got so much bug stuff going on. That's going to be an absolute pain Would to paint. That she's a busy bee? Yeah, yeah. The, I, I, the, the emo I decided to avoid that me. joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? I said the emo hair is what got me, where it's like the little <laughs> horns going in front of her eye. I know it's Break me up! Break <laughs> me up inside! Uh, yeah. Save me! Save, um, save me from this thing. Save me from the gnarled tree I've become. Uh, yeah, this is... So the rest of the train uh, in that picture was all already used, by the yep. way. Which... <sighs> I'm so done with those. Like, we... Yeah, the, the whole meat tree thing, we've gone on and on about it. This like, is a this cool, is like box five. <laughs> this is a cool, like, evolution of it. Yeah, so those are, so the, those are like walking trees that, like, actually hunt you down and eat you. And this one is one that's been semi, not tamed, but like, I don't know, they tie a platform to it and try and feed people to it, I guess. That's yeah. a cool idea. So they're attempting to tame it, but it's just like, mm, food, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, because it's just a wild creature, even though it's a tree. But yeah. It's cool. I'm just so over the trees. I mean, me too. I love that in the video, they were like, you could get up on there and it's really tactically advantageous. Or it could just eat you. <laughs> they basically said that like the only reason you get up there is if like, 
I feel like in this set, you'd have to put an objective up there every single game. That's just to I make sure this thing gets used. Yeah, because no one is getting on that platform if there's not. <laughs> right. Let me just stand by the giant meat tree. Oh, I died. Whoa, crazy. And yeah, the book. Briar and Bone. Briar and Bone. Keep him with There's me. something upsetting about Bone Tar. I don't know what it is, but I don't like you don't him. You like Bone Tar? No. I like... I like thick thighs. Thick thighs are probably my favorite. <laughs> Bone thighs <laughs> save lives. <laughs> Alright, go on the next one. Alright. <laughs> uh, next we are on to Death Gorge. Uh, sorry, not Death Gorge. Winter Maw. So every single Underworld goes the same. There's the first one, like the first location, yep. uh, Shade Spire. And then the, you go, they go deeper into that location. Shade Spire, they go into the Night Vault. Mm -hmm. This was Death Gorge. Now they've gone into the Winter Maw. Yep. And apparently there's a, a bunch of big bad bugs here. And so I'm not going <laughs> to lie. When they showed this team off, I was like, another vampire team? Come on, guys. I thought this was another chaos team. Really? Um, this might be my least favorite Underworlds box ever, models wise. That is fair. I don't <laughs> like. So this guy right here, coolest in the box, not close. I guess, but I don't like him. I I like him. This guy who's like on the other one's shoulders. <laughs> Okay, to, so to explain to people who haven't seen it, for some reason, if you're watching this and haven't actually seen the video, I don't know what you're doing, but this is the Cities <laughs> of Sigmar team. And all yeah, it, it's, if you're used to Cities of Sigmar or, or old Warhammer Fantasy Lord, these are the new version of Flagellants, so yes. the religious crazies. They were all of these guys have okay. been hit by lightning of some sort. That's just so <laughs> niche and... <laughs> Now I understand why there's only uh, five of them. Or six. Which, I mean, to be fair, it's a good reason to have only five of them. Yeah. Um, I don't like their little shock things. No, I don't like their tasers. I don't like their tasers. They, they, look, like, I don't they like... look like they should be prodding velociraptors at Jurassic Park with those. Like, just... Old man Jenkins with clubs. I don't, I don't like this at all. This guy's the only guy that I like. This guy is funny, but this guy I like. Yeah, I mean the the guy on top, like the leader of the war band, he, he just looks like the neighbor from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, but <laughs> you know, he's so but, but, the... <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, conversion incoming. Now I gotta buy the box. <laughs> uh, he just, that guy, and I don't like it. Like, no, he I just looks like. This Stumbled out of bed in his white shirt, <laughs> threw on his bathrobe, and something's on his head. The brethren um, the bolt. God damn. Okay. And then you've got flesh eater courts. Who I guess their delusion is that they're all chefs. Like yeah. they think that they're cutting up chef meat. What's There's... a fun idea? I want to see a tattered chef hat before right. I give them any credit for that. She has a butcher's cleaver. Isn't that good enough? No, I want I want to see a Gorms Gordon Ramsay guy. <laughs> Again, uh conversion incoming. Um I also don't like that the Bat Boy the location of the hair is awkward. I'm just I, the location of the hair is very much on purpose. I know, but like give him a loincloth, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So I like that when they were explaining this team, it's like they're they're an aggro type team and it's they they want to they want to chop you up they want to eat you like come on tell me whatever i just that, yeah. that threw me off where they were like they're they're a very aggro in your face team i was like yeah no duh yeah no i was expecting my flush your courts to be durable and control based <laughs> um so yeah not a fantastic box other than other than definitely no, like, I don't... This guy has potential. Potential. I mean, the, the Cities of Sigmar models are certainly something unique and different, and thank God it's not a 10-man unit. Oh, my <laughs> but, God. Yeah, that would be terrible. Like, <laughs> but besides that, uh, no, it's not the box for me. But you get two new Rivals decks. <laughs> All right, go on the next one. This is not... Uh, was it Warcry? 
no, no, no. This is um, definitely not the uh, uh, the Zinch one that they showed off last year at Adepticon, which every model right. is fantastic in. Right. Um, not, not, not doing it. Next. No. Um, all right. So here we get to possibly my favorite model revealed tonight. I had a feeling. I have a type. Yeah, it turns out. Apple and that type is amazing monsters with really cool women on top, apparently. <laughs> uh, Holy crap. This model's amazing. Now, I hate the name because Abraxia uh, brings up two things in my mind. Number one, the terrible movie Abraxas with Jesse Ventura as the star. Jesse Ventura, uh, the, movie. the wrestler? Yeah, Jesse, oh the body Ventura starred in that. It was his attempt to launch his career. It didn't work. Um, no, it didn't. And then a Braxo cleaner is the fake cleaner in Fallout. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I don't know either so, of those references if it makes you feel any better. But um, for those of you who are Warhammer Fantasy fans, um, there was a character named Valkia the Bloody, who was the right-hand girl of Corn, and um, had the very similar headpiece and spear and shield combo. Mm-hmm. So this is not the this is the right hand woman of um, Archeon, and oh my god, what an amazing model! Yeah, this is this is definitely model of the year potential. Yeah, so she's the the head of the Varen Guard. Yeah, and she comes uh, with oh god that spear. They didn't really show the up close on that. That looks amazing. So yeah, the spear is a spear that if it touches you, you mutate into a chaos spawn. I cannot wait to see the mechanic for that. Right. Does it just like? <laughs> but it can also hurt her, and they hinted that's her mechanic. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm interested to find out. And she comes with a box with her and three. Is that just Varen card? Yeah, they're just Varen card, and that's a hundred dollar box right there. So this is a two hundred dollar box. Got it. Basically, <laughs> get it while you can, because I'm sure she's going to be at least a hundred if any of the other uh, Dawnbringer stuff. Uh, prices are to be believed. So if this is like one fifty, pick it up. She uh, she comes with rules that let you run an all Varengard army of renown, which is <laughs> they did that, didn't they? In the uh, the Wrath of the Everchosen book, where you could run like yes, these guys were leaders and battle lines somehow. <laughs> when Varengard first came out, they did that. Yeah, they were. That was actually terrifying. Oh god. Um, and speaking of which, she come, those rules come in the book six, Hounds of Chaos. Mm -hmm. You and I thought it was going to be a Skaven book. We were wrong, Fair although right. we'll, we'll talk about why. <laughs> um, instead, it's the Chaos book, and it comes with that and then this thing, the Nexus Chaotica. I'm guessing this is just the um, – th my thought was it's just the Slaves to Darkness um, terrain piece. Terrain piece, yeah. Um, it could not be. It could just be like you can take it whatever. Oh, I thought they were literally just going to show it twice. Um, I, I mean, kind of hope it is. Know what it means. <laughs> I kind of hope it is just a thing you can take. I really hope it isn't just a slaves of darkness terrain piece because I kind of hate terrain pieces that are yeah. faction terrain. We did talk. I about like that. them when they're optional. Yeah. Anyway, it looks uh, good. I mean, it's it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, but not as pretty as uh, Abraxia because right. dang, that model is just. Yeah. Oh man. And as someone who just got into Slaves to Darkness, Josh. Yeah, I picked the absolute best time to get into Slaves to Darkness. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I could not have picked a better moment. All right. Uh, on to the next one. This one's going to be real quick. It was just a teaser. Horus it's Heresy. Uh, pl plastic Admech yep. for Horus Heresy. Admech and Horus Heresy. Cool, cool. There was some rumors about... Um, like their Dark Mechanicum. Yeah, Dark yeah. Mechanicum. There was rumors about like Admech knights or titans or whatever and uh who knows what but it's all we know is it's at mech yeah. there's a lot of really cool stuff in fourfold resin in ad mech yeah um for horse here see that if it makes it to plastic i would love to see a lot of the there's a lot of weird automata where they were still kind of riding that line between ai and not more closely than they are now uh -huh. Interesting. A lot of things more like the castle and robots, but more advanced or weirder. And um, I really, or basically, and, or the predecessor to the Skitari are very interesting. Yeah, that would be, that would be cool. I mean, seeing someone as advanced as Admech 10,000 years beforehand. Right. It, it, it's really interesting. It's kind of like, it's like how the solar auxilia were like, wow, that's what the guard used to be. 
Right. This, if you go browse the range of Forge World Ad Mech for Horus Heresy, it's like, wow, they were really cool. Hmm. And know. they're interesting because they can also, they're also a dual, you know, dual side faction because they fought on both sides. Everybody, like, uh, except for like demons, can do that, I think. Right. And custodies, maybe? Yeah, probably. It's probably like custodies are the good only, demons are the bad only, and then everybody else is in between. Right. Sense. All right. Next. Dorfs, 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 dorfs. Of course, I was groaning the whole time this was up because you know how much I love dwarves. See, my problem with this trailer, uh, it was a little short. You know, I can just like cut you off, right? I could just. <laughs> and I mean, honestly, we probably should because it's old world dwarves. It's the return of old kits um, and a new kit or two. Yep. Um, That's it. It's yeah, it's something. They actually didn't even show this box in the preview, so nope. they kind of implied it, but they didn't actually show what's in it. Uh, Mountain Holds Arcane Journal because selling you a new book. There's the new model. It looks great. It's fine. It looks. That's fine. the one we saw preview. The silhouette of. Yep, it looks fine. That's. Uh, so I like that if that's also the new model, that new model can also build an optional guy on foot. Yes, that is that. I think that's what this is. Right. So, and yeah. I, I do like to think of that. You can either have the Thane on the shield or the King on the shield. And the other one goes on foot, which is kind of nice. Uh, yeah. Especially since it says, uh, oh no, that's the, the next models, the Thane, Thane with a uh, handgun. Right. Which again, I don't, I don't think they showed this model. Nope, they didn't. Hmm. Uh, it's new Forge World, blah blah blah. Uh, Forge World face, Ungram Iron Fist. I had a feeling this was a, a big name character. The way that they were like panning around him. He's actually um in Total War Warhammer. Oh, uh, that would make sense. Because he's he's because dwarves are live long enough. He actually survived to the end times and died there. Right. Yeah. They said so he was a, that he yeah. was like an old fighter and then became a king. Is that this guy? Um, he, uh, he, he's young right now in this time, yeah, yeah, in this time period. He's young. And then later he becomes the Slayer King. Yeah. Gotcha. Returning plastic. Hey, look, there's the, the, the there's the rune Lord that you could already get. Yep. And, and the famous monkey armed or the ape armed dwarves where their arms are just so long and gangly <laughs> that they can touch the ground standing up. Yep. Again, like this is nostalgia for like, and I'm not, you know, saying that they're bad. I've got some Bretonians because I think they're cool. Right. Um, but dwarves specifically, I, they are characterful. But go look, it's the first Karajan Overlords kit. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm so funny. What a da 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 da. And oh my god, this looks like they just copy pasted over and over again. Got that's me. like that's a kit that was in Cities of Sigmar. That didn't go away. No, is this the Iron Drakes? No, Iron Drakes. That's are the, Hammers. The shooty ones, Hammers. I, yeah, that's the Hammers. The, like, those are the Iron Drakes yeah. slash Iron Breakers. Yeah, those are still in cities. Well, now they're on square bases. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's interesting. I'm assuming you get 20 instead of... Yeah, probably. Some forward now, forward. those two didn't show off, and for good reason, because Jesus. Yeah, some of, the, some of the old Slayers don't really hold up, huh? Nope. Oh, God, that one's metal... The metal, uh, yeah, the uh, Rune Lord um, with Anvil of Doom. Uh huh. I'm sure a uh, friend of the show, Kevin, and co host of the show, Cody, are rolling in their beds, probably. I, I, I was sitting by Kevin during this preview, and yes, I can tell you exactly his reaction. <laughs> um, I, made the, I made the short joke, and he elbowed me really hard. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm sure they're loving us trash talking all these old models. These guys, <laughs> these guys needed a refresh. <laughs> these guys look. Yeah, I, I was hoping to see more plastic refreshes of these old ones. Yeah, the old Slayers look terrible. It feels weird, especially because so many of those models were just available in cities currently. Like yeah, they didn't like, actually go away. Yeah. Returning metals again. Oh, this this one's made to order. Yes, Don't ask. and they didn't show off uh, the Bugman wagon because that was the one funny thing that, that that was in the trailer. Yeah, they didn't show off was the, the, the beer, or the the beer uh, wagon. 
what is it? The goblin. The the, gro- the goblin hewer. Yeah, the or thing the that was just thrower. like chucking chucking axes. That was the coolest thing. Or the thing. cannon, or the organ guns. Yeah, there's a lot more the here that they didn't show off. Wow. Maybe this is like wave one. Who knows? Yeah, it did look like a big wave, like a, an expansive release. It's a lot of stuff. All right, on to the next one. So this was interesting. Yeah, I heard some rumors about this. I didn't believe it, but <laughs> it is true. So first off, it's um, it's another one of these boxes where it doesn't come with a train. Um, it comes, it comes with, with the two terrain team. pieces. <laughs> And one train piece, and the rest is just still in that kill team beta decima kill zone. Uh, this is Gene Stealer Cults versus Votan, so the second discrete Votan kill team. But this one is not just an upgrade sprue. It is not. It is a whole new kit. And I gotta say, I do like these guys. Yeah? They're, they're interesting and weird. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get them, but they're interesting and weird. The, the overcoats are funny, but in a kind of cool way. Yeah. So they're very steampunk. Yeah, I could see that. So there are the Hernkin Jaegers. I didn't realize they spelled Jaegers like this, by the way. Yeah, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So Hernkin Jaegers, which are the scouts, but the scouts that like, hang around and actually do the like covert work rather than the pioneers who like scout and then leave <laughs> right yeah they, they're they're unmounted scouts basically yeah whoa so we just got space in... marine scouts and now we have dwarf scouts <laughs> for those of you who don't know in german jaeger with a j means hunter yeah. so like that's what these guys are these are hunters and but they just spell it with a y apologies to german listeners again we have a track record of that now yeah. uh this one's not our fault. Um, yeah, again, I, dwarf. I, I like the models though. Like they're they're different and interesting. They're there's something we have not seen from dwarves otherwise in any other way. That's true. I'm still not a fan. I don't like that they have power suits and then they have a coat over the power suit. <laughs> that's what makes it. That's why I say it's steampunk. It's useless accoutrement, you know. <laughs> Like they could have, if they had the little hog stone in them, it'd be perfect. The power suit isn't warm enough. No, the power suit's not insulated. <laughs> and then they put a coat on over it. <laughs> anyway, on to the other one. Uh, these are the Brood Brothers, which you're going to have to tell me if these are the. It's an upgrade sprue to the Veteran Guardsman? Does it look like it? Yeah. I am 98% certain it is an upgrade sprue to the just the Cadian Shock Troops. Oh, really? Because the Veteran Guardsmen are the Creek. Yeah, I knew that, but they kept saying that they were veterans. <laughs> yeah, well, I think what that means is, is that they just have the same stats as Veteran Guardsmen. Oh. Or that they're just veterans of many wars. Um, to be fair, like, the when the Cadian Shock Troop box came out, the... There was one of the new kill team releases. I forget what one actually suggested using Cadian shock troops as veteran guardsmen if you don't want to use the Creed guys. Oh, okay. I think think this is an upgrade sprue, but I'm not 100 percent certain. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, I, I I haven't built it, so I couldn't tell you. But um, I'm 98 percent certain this is an upgrade sprue. Okay, which is fine, by the way. I don't mean that as a bad thing because yeah, no, um, it's a really good upgrade sprue. It looks good. It's got some options for, for GSC, like Meltas and, you know, snipers and a medic and all that stuff, which is not available currently. It also makes their, their um, kill team uh, varied and interesting, whereas their now, current looking, kill team is a little weird. Looking at the options, I think that's why they said it's just a veteran guards kill team. A lot of this stuff maps one-to-one to the veteran guardsman kill team. Yeah, that's what I was thinking with this guy. The, um, the yeah. Medic. Yep, the medic, the um, guy with the beat stick there, the sniper, the plasma slash the meltagon, the comms guy. Yeah, I mean it's it's a classic guardsman kill team, but you know mm-hmm. this guy has a claw. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the thing that really annoys me is, I just bought this box. <laughs> yeah, that's what was weird to me is is like okay, so we have an upgrade sprue, but that's not enough. So we're also just gonna stuff an entire box in here. Yeah, this is a. A seventy dollar box, currently correct. That they just like so 
also also put in here. I think this is going to be like that Inquisition Kill Team box where it was an absolute banger of a deal. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was just like, oh, wow, that's a lot of models. The the real problem is that this this guy, the Patriarch, is uh, you, you can only use one. So if you have him already, don't get this box. <laughs> right. So I'm going to wait for this um, team to come out by itself. Rules-wise, I did like that basically you're not running all these guys. You're picking one to be your leader, I think. Or you can play without them and just play with more guardsmen. Yeah, that's um kind of how the current GSC kill team works. Is it's right. you have the generic guys and then you can replace two of them with one of the elites. Right. I found that very interesting that they continued that theme. Yeah, and I'm, um, I'm okay with it. Yeah. And the train is it's just nothing. I mean, yeah. okay, look, more Necromunda terrain. Yeah, true. It, I noticed it has the exact same doors from the end of the dark terrain. Yarp. Yeah. N not a fan of these, hey, but was, the rest of this box looks cool. If it's worth sculpting, it's worth using again and again, all right? True. All right, next one. All right, this one's short. Uh, we're going into Hive Secundus. So, for those of you who didn't know, <laughs> yeah, this is Necromunda. It was just a teaser. I could not tell from the silhouettes what those could possibly be. I yeah, stared at them. I can't either. Um, the, the last storybook ends with two characters. I'm not going to tell you which because it's a spoiler. Uh -huh. Two characters basically traveling into Hive Secundus, which is the gene stealer infested closed off hive. Uh, via underground tunnels so when they showed those underground tunnels mm -hmm. it's, it's basically like yeah this is going into the gene stealer infested hive i would guess new rules for gene stealer cults possibly new models possibly like exploration or expedition mechanics or something that'd be interesting it said join the expedition right kind of a new we'll find out more later maybe a new like a new type of campaign like um ash waste was yeah we'll see maybe it like Maybe the tight tunnels will be like claustrophobic, like oh, kind of like how the opposite of ash wastes. Mm, that'd be cool. And like a zone mortalis based terrain. That would be interesting. Yeah. And you all know that we'll be there to review all of it. Oh yeah, we'll, we will. <laughs> we'll be on this like a shark. All right. Next. So we'll talk about how wrong we were. <laughs> well, Cause... Only kind of. I mean, first off, we were not I mean, obviously everyone knew this was Stormcast versus Skaven. Yeah. But um, yeah. it's not Skaven stealing the secret of Stormcast, and it's not Stormcast to become awesome lightning monsters. Uh, it's just the Ruination Chamber, which was a thing in lore previously. Like oh, okay. it had been, it's basically the Stormcast who've been reforged so many times that they've now got starry eyes. Whoa. Uh, which means that their humanity is been chipped away completely. Um, and they can go into dark places. Um, what I was not expecting was Skaven Blight to just, you know, appear. Yeah, to just, like, erupt from the ground right outside the capital city. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Hammerhall Akshi, so, you know, one of the main cities of Sigmar. And uh, it, the trailer in the, in the interview, they said that a full third of that realm is just Skaven Yep. city now it's they call it blight city or something stupid they didn't call it scape and blight which they should yeah blight city, you're right <laughs> yeah which, which is a bad name because it makes you think of blight town blight city uh um one disappointment is that unlike last year adepticon we did not get any actual model previews we got very clearly some new models in the trailer yeah but last year we got the full rundown of the Terminators and the Termagants. Yeah. Not here. And this time, uh, and uh, actually I was just talking to a friend of the show, Sean, uh, before the, the show. And it was, well, last year they had another con coming up so they could like show off the models later. And this year they don't. So we're going to see more. No, we actually saw less. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, quick rundown of the things we saw. Definitely more new Stormcast, but all Stormcast looked the same, so I couldn't tell you anymore. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like, these guys have flaming wings instead of metal wings. Cool. I think that's just a prosecutor. No, that's not just a prosecutor. It's not? I don't think so. <laughs> so, here's a... Yeah, like, I wonder if this is... Yeah, it's it's not... Uh, these flying warriors with glowing spears. Circular shields, blazing wings look familiar as they descend. Looks suspiciously familiar. Yeah, so maybe like they're they're kind of like implying things are getting 
ruination versions. The question is, is it going to replace those old? Like, are we going to get prosecutors and still have prosecutors and then also get these guys? Or are they going to, like, replace some of those old kits? Are you asking if they're going to primary us our prosecutors? I wasn't going to frame it that way. I was going to frame it as taking some of those old kits that come in stupid, odd numbers in their boxes and actually making them decent. I mean... Because Liberators don't look good. Liberators do not look good. Um, Especially so compared to the Dominion Stormcast. You you had the bright side of that, and I had the uh, stupid side of that. Yes. Um, I like the... Oh, I don't know if it shows it here, but the, the rat mounts are great. Yeah, let's talk about the thing we actually heard to talk about, which is the Skaven. Um, yeah. the, the real stars of this show. Um, so let's, let's talk about the thing we're actually here to talk about with the Skaven. Mm -hmm. Some things we definitely saw. Yes. New rat ogres. Was that a was that a rat ogre? That was a rat ogre because it was not a storm fiend. You're right. It wasn't a storm fiend. He wasn't near his armored storm, out. Yep. Storm fiend and we're not armored out. So it was definitely a rat ogre with a warp fire projector. Yep. Um, new rattling gun. And they did call that a rattling gun. They so did. that looks like that's going to be. Which is. I'm a little bit sad because I was really hoping for a Vermintide style rattling gun because those that's my favorite kind. Yeah, those are very cool. But this I is mean, also really fun. Let's look at this. This literally looks like a screenshot from a video game. Yeah. Which I'm not upset about. But anyway, like some nope. of the other stuff doesn't. But this definitely does. But um, uh, we saw Giselle. Yep, we saw Giselle's. Oh god, if Giselle's get an upgrade, I'm gonna be so happy. They will. Like that's that was they would not focus on them like that if they were not getting an upgrade. That's true. Because Giselle's are resin can or metal or something. Yeah, they're one of them. Um and... a new uh a new leader on a mount of some kind. Leader on a mount. So, uh, big... Claw Lord is what the what they called him on a mount, which was yep. this guy. Yep. Yep, Claw Lord loses his mount. And the fact that he just runs away. I like the guy on the back of the, um, on the back of this, when the guy got, uh, caught by the wheel and run over and he just kind of like chuckles. And then takes an axe. And then, yeah, and then takes an axe to the face. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, he deserves yeah. it. Yeah. But it was funny. <laughs> Very good trailer, by the way, just yeah, in general. Uh, uh, I'm sure there's some other things we missed in there, but like, that's at least the things I know I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what we actually, what we actually get models wise, hopefully soon. I, I, I don't like Un being teased like that. Unfriendly fire. I wonder if that means they're going to have mechanics for like, oh, shooting into your own guys. Yeah. So it's weird because current AOS, you could just shoot into melee with no problem, but we don't know. Right. Uh, I guess that we could lead on to. Uh, lead that into the next one. So we all knew this was coming. It's yep. Age of Sigmar Fourth Edition. Fourth edition. With a I don't know total why. rules rewrite. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why GW, when a new edition is coming out, they always say the new edition. They never say yeah. fourth edition or tenth edition. They always say the new edition. I don't know why they do because that. Because it because it highlights how stupid it is that we have so many editions so quickly. <laughs> and like the guy in the video even said like uh, back in third or first edition, but this uh, he always just say the new edition, whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm sure it's in their product guideline or whatever. Yeah, but so full rules relight, right? They said, which means Age of Sigmar indexes. That's what it looked like, and I'm not upset because we haven't actually had one since Age of Sigmar first edition. So here's the thing: unlike 40k. Third edition egg Joe Sigmar was not so bloated it needed one yet. I'm not sure I agree with you. <laughs> the uh, the other problem is is that like unlike with 40k where they told us all this stuff they were doing and by the way this is like the same they're using the same keywords universal oh, special yeah. rules. They they are this, just like, doing tenth edition for Sigmar. And that's the problem is because I've seen how they're doing tenth edition and a lot of what they're saying didn't actually turn out to be true. Mm, what do you mean? Um. So, for example, they call about, like, universal special rules, but there's still a lot of non-universal special rules on cards. That Like, there's still lots of gotchas and rule management and stuff like that. That is not... It's less than it was. That is absolutely true, but it's not gone. And I, I agree with that. Um, yeah. Um, 
And again, I like I don't think it's a bad thing that they're reducing that, but like fool me once, shame on you, you know? Yeah. Fool me twice. And like when or when they talk about like, oh, we need to rewrite the rules for all the indexes and everything's getting awesome new rules. Yeah, tell it to an ad mech player. Yeah. <laughs> tell it to a death. Which player. I realize Yeah, that's just one faction out of many, but the other problem is is that because I we know how long ahead of time these rules had to be written. Mm-hmm. These Age of Sigmar rules were written before they got to see any feedback from 40k 10th edition's release. That's true. Which means it's just gonna the same mistakes are gonna be there. I realize I'm sounding very cynical on this, but they haven't had time to implement that feedback. Yeah. If this was next year, that would be different. totally different story. I'm. I am hopeful. And I, I mean, am, hope brings eternal. And I am excited to see what happens because I think <laughs> currently Age of Sigmar is too complicated. It, it is certainly complicated, and like that, they did make bring a good point where um, it is only as the game is as complicated as its most complicated faction. True. And there are certainly some Age of Sigmar factions that are brutally complicated and guilty of complicating the game. Yeah. Hello, Illumineth. <laughs> um, it's just, I've had, and maybe partially maybe this because I'm a Dark Angels player in 40k. Yeah. So I just had a very bad experience with this. Um, with the way they release this. And yeah, so I, it's not that I'm not excited or I think it's going to be worse. I don't think that's necessarily true. For one thing, they've already said weapon range is going away. That was one of the most annoying things. It is. Um, so it'll follow, but they also said it'll follow a three inch rule for everything, which will be interesting in its implementation. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. I think, feel like if they were going to do that, they should have like made it two inches instead. We'll see what they mean by that. Cause they really didn't go into much. No, they, they really didn't give us much for actual rules changes. No. And we'll see. Obviously we have a bunch new coming. Like we have, it said summer. So, you know, that could be anywhere from June to August. Yeah, I'm guessing July. Second. Yeah, probably. Um, and it's just, I don't want to see everything with lethal or sustained hits like you do in 40k. Cause yeah, that's fair. Yeah. It's yeah. It, it, yeah. Because having seen what they do with 40k, 40k needs a lot of fixing. And sure. I know they won't have the time. They have not had the time to implement those fix it. Like they have begun fixing things in 40k to their credit. This was written before that. Yes. I think 40k currently is in a good spot. That being said, it is over six months since the edition release, and it's just getting there. That's what I mean. Because um, I don't think it was in a good spot when it launched. No, I agree. Uh, well, I think it was in a... Now, to be fair, though, I think it was in a better spot than ninth. Yeah. Because ninth was a tire fire, but I don't think 3rd edition AOS is a tire fire. It has some problems, but it's not ninth edition 40k. We're going to have another argument when you get back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't, there's some stuff I don't like about uh, Age of Sigmar currently. My big one is the regiments of renown and like the complications that it has introduced yeah. because that's to me where it jumped into too complicated. Like you say, um, was all that stuff. And I'm like, Oh God, more to keep track of. Yeah. But and they, they said they, that the they've written rules for all that stuff. Go ahead. They said they've written rules for all that stuff yeah, in this so new. That doesn't even fix it. <laughs> Right. The question is, is that going to stay around when the books actually launch? Yeah, we'll see. And I kind of hope it doesn't. Honestly, I'm. <laughs> yeah, I. I agree. <laughs> um, the big thing is, is that man that plays the Dark Oath Dark, Dark Oath box is going to come out. We're going to get a good month or two of that book. Oh, with that. <laughs> no, no. So the Dark Oath, the book is, um, it's one of the ones. It's like the uh, uh, Iron Jaws. It's, it's free. It's free. I know it's that it. Free. It doesn't sting quite as bad. No. Um, what Age of Sigmar tome just launched? Flesh Eater Courts. Flesh Eater Courts. Ah, sucks to suck. Yeah, it does. Uh, I guess. Look, it's the new way to play. It's combat patrol. I mean, Spearhead. Oh. Yeah, oh god, and like Combat Patrol did not did not last at our local scene. No, it's it is not a new way to play in my opinion. It is 
the game, but less complicated and uh, less good, in my opinion. And a solved game state. Basically. <laughs> the problem is, is that pre-built teams can work when you balance them very carefully. Yeah. But that's not how Games Workshop makes these boxes. No. Games Workshop makes these boxes to sell models. Yeah. Um, so the combat patrols varied wildly in not not just power, but also fun. Yeah. Um, now, to its credit, Age of Sigmar might actually have a advantage because, I mean, I don't, I guess I don't know if they're keeping this. They might not be. The um, not having a toughness. So you don't go like, well... The, the anti-tank problem we've discussed isn't there. Yeah. So, again, this could change. But if it's like, well, my guys hit on threes and wound on threes all the time forever. I don't care if you're, you know, a flesh eater court or a, a you know, giant dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could have more wounds, but that who cares? Uh, so, to its credit, this might be a little bit better, but I was not a fan of Combat Patrol. They also called it out as, like, they didn't, they called it a different way to play, whereas for Combat Patrol, they really didn't. I I, I would have to go back and check, but I think they did. <laughs> oh, did they? Okay, I thought they just called it a shorter way to play, where they, for Combat Patrol, they really seemed to be emphasizing that it was a way to get into 40k. Yeah. Which I think for that's this one, it, well, for this one, it seemed to me that they were really, um, really emphasizing that it was a different, shorter way to play Age of Sigmar. They called out like card-based tactics and stuff. That's true. They did. They did say that, which uh, does sound more interesting than Combat Patrol, where you literally pick an objective at the beginning of the game. Yeah, and that's it. So I wonder if for this one, instead of being a shorter way to get into Age of Sigmar, they're actually going to build as a different way to play it. If they do that, that that opens some interesting design space. That that would be more interesting, yes. Yeah, and I'm I'm more interested in that. That's fair. But obviously, the thing I'm most interested in is uh, Skaven. Yep, I agree. the The Stormcast aren't as cool as I expected. Um, but we have you know, all those models, so who knows? That's true. Uh, maybe they'll there'll be some cool stuff in there. But yeah, the Skaven is definitely what I'm interested in. And uh, obviously, a indexing of all of the factions and making all of the rules free is great for the game. Um, at, at, at the very least, um, as an easy way to get in. I have seen a lot of people surprised at 10th edition 40k, where uh, like they go, "Oh, the rules are online for free. That's crazy." It's like, yeah, yeah, they put them all up. It it, it won't last, but it, it's nice to get people hooked to the start. Yeah. I mean, we're, what I say, uh, nine months in to 10th edition yeah. 40K, and there's six books out. So there's a bunch right. that are still free, which is nice. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, unless you're an ad mic player. Unless you're or an ad work. Player, and then it's not nice. <laughs> and then your book didn't fix. And, like, someone's going to be the ad mech, you know? Yeah, there's there's always going to be one. I and just, someone's going to be Eldar, Eldari, or Knights. Yeah, and just hope it's not Stormcast. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to be Sons of Bahamut. Probably. Sons of Bahamut, they won't, they'll do the same thing with Knights, but they just don't know how to balance that yeah. again. <clears throat> well, yeah. What uh, else is new? Uh, I think that's going to be it from us. you have anything else, else to talk about? Uh, Grace, Great Horned Rat rules all. Uh, yes, he does. Uh, praise the Great Horned Rat. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>